It goes. I, it was like a claw. Hi guys, so today I wanted to, in the spirit of Halloween, talk about my creepy um, paranormal dreams and experiences as a child. Um, I do have other ones from like present day, but I figure I'd save that for a different video. Um, I'm going to be talking about like my severe chronic nightmares as a child and um, what they were and my experiences during that time in my life um, because it was requested and I figure since it's kind of spooky I would talk about it today and I have my glass of wine here because Lord knows I'm gonna need it um, these stories really creep me out like I don't like bringing them up I don't like thinking about this uh, from my childhood it was just like a creepy time for me and it was every night um, so I guess I'm gonna take a sip of this and get started so basically when I was little um, I have two older sisters and they would watch Are You Afraid of the Dark a lot and um, I was watching TV with them and I watched this episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark and it really traumatized me like I think that's part of the reason that I had like all these nightmares for so long like it really scared me. Um, there was this green vampire with red eyes and white hair um, kind of like my hair actually <laughs> uh, but he scared me so much um, I think I was like five at the time it scared the living shit out of me like it was so traumatizing I will never forget it and um, I feel like after that is when I started having nightmares about vampires and they were every night every single night for seven years of my life like I want to say up until I was about 12 I had nightmares like it was bad I have like a few stories of like my crazy dreams that were so scary to me that I will never forget scariest dream I ever had about vampires was <sighs> I hate this one um I don't know if you guys have ever heard when you're in a bad dream counting backwards from 10 and usually you'll wake up from it um I was sitting at the dinner table and I have uh, two sisters and my parents and we were all sitting there and I was the only one that wasn't a vampire and so it was a bad dream and I was like normally this is so fucked up too I knew that if I killed myself in my dream I would wake up so I would jump off the balcony like every time I was at my house having one of these dreams I would run upstairs and jump off the balcony and wake up um, so at this point we were sitting on the table I knew I couldn't go upstairs like it was so fucked up that I knew that I was in a dream like <laughs> I had them so often that I knew what was real and what wasn't but it was still really scary um, so we're all sitting around the table and I start counting down from 10 and uh, this like gives me the chills to think about but I just remember um, my dad looking at me and saying <laughs> Megan that's not gonna work this time and I literally like it was like a bone chilling feeling that I got in my dream and then I woke up and I was like what like I was so happy to be awake but still like that was scary to me I don't understand how dreams work but I definitely didn't want that to happen so I don't know how that happened in my dream like it was very creepy um, and yeah, I don't know, I feel like there was something more going on than being traumatized by a TV show. Like, I feel like I was one of those, there's like 1 in 20 people have chronic nightmares and I honestly think that I did. And, um, so every night when I would have one of these dreams, I would go upstairs and I would crawl into, um, my mom's bed and I would just crawl in and make them all uncomfortable and I would fall asleep but I oof, I don't like the story either um one night I was laying there and I couldn't sleep because I was so freaked out from one of the dreams that I had that I was looking out the door there was like a doorway you could see out and there was like if the light was on you could see it was kind of like a loft kind of deal my parents room so I was looking out and all of a sudden I like see say here's the door frame here's the door frame I see this hand go like this it goes 
I, it was like a claw and I was like so scared. I think I must have been like nine. I was so freaked out by that. Like what the hell man? Like that scared the shit out of me. And some people think I was asleep or like some people might say I was sleeping or sleep paralysis but I know that I was awake and I saw that and it just kind of added to me being scared um, and I just don't like that at all. To this day um, I get creeped out at night and I think it's because of all those nightmares I used to have. I don't know if you guys remember this but there was a game my friend used to have um, this is also a creepy thing from my childhood where you'd pop in a VCR and it was like this guy at a table and you were playing a game with him and I don't know how it worked but I remember we would say our name and it would talk to us like it would say like Megan this blah 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 so I don't know how it did that it was a VCR tape like I don't know how it did that, but I remember thinking it was the coolest game ever, but it was the creepiest game I've ever played, and I didn't ever know how it worked, and I remember my friend's mom got rid of it, and I didn't know why, I thought it was so cool, but now I'm thinking back on it, and as a kid I'm like, not thinking about the technology, I'm not thinking about how it's possible for that to have happened, but the fact that you would like pop it in, and then it would randomly like, you would say something and it knew what you said I don't know it's like sounds so dumb now that I talk about it but it was so creepy like that a game was responding with our name like I don't know how it was possible I don't know where that game came from um it was some some creepy old guy on the tv and he was talking to us it was like now that I think about it I'm like what did she get that at some fucked up magic shop like I have no idea but all I know is I looked it up, I still to this day do not know what that game was, I can't find it online, but I just know that was creepy. Those are some of my like paranormal things. I've also woken up in the middle of the night feeling like a very evil sense. I know this is so stupid, I still won't sleep with my all the lights off, I can't do it. You know when you get that feeling that like someone's there, I have that every night. And it's not a good feeling to have um, and it's never really gone away so I don't know if it's just me being paranoid or what but like I will not sleep with the night light off I stay up late late at night till I can fall asleep because I don't like being alone in the dark I really don't it makes me really uncomfortable um, and I just haven't had good experiences with that so if you guys have like a creepy scary story I'd love to hear it um, I do read all of you guys's comments so please leave me a comment down below if you have any creepy stories like that. I apologize if this video wasn't like super exciting, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a very safe and fun Halloween, whatever you do. Um, but yeah, more story times are definitely coming on my channel. I have a lot to tell you guys. Um, and also some makeup videos here and there for those of you who like that. Um, it is my true passion in life. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye my loves.